Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone, <coughs> excuse me, is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Virgo only channel, Leo only channel. I am going to be starting Pis uh, I mean Aries also too. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? My TikTok is below. Recommended readers are below. Decks used are below. Um, there's a whole list below of everything that I give away. Uh, I will be uh, sending out April 1st winners this weekend, okay, before the 1st. Um, winners are announced on the 1st on the community page. So hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. And be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell. Readings can be vice versa. You guys already know how this works, okay? Let's get popping here, please, spirit, holy spirit, angel spirits and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, tell me about cancer in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, tell me about cancer in love, please. What does cancer need to know today? All right, page of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the justice card, more Libra energy. Tell me about cancer. Okay, we've got the eight of wands. And we've got the four of swords. We've got the nine of wands. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay, Cancer, there is someone here that's very unhappy and hurting. Very unhappy and hurting. Six of Wands and the World card. Like, this is like a talk, buddy, stop it. This is a talk of like... Listen, I want to be fair. It's not you. It's me. Someone here is very unhappy. They're in the process of healing from something. They're in the process of healing from something. And I feel like it's like someone here is saying you deserve better than me. Do you see what I'm saying? You deserve better than me. You deserve better than this situation. It, it's like it's not you, it's me type of conversation. Like I'm hurting, I'm healing from stuff. Someone here may even be in a depression. Okay, someone here may be putting up boundaries because they're in a depression. Tell me about the Justice card. We've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. I can't love you the right way right now. Page of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. It's like this person does have a tremendous amount of love for the person that they're talking to. So it's not like this person is, you know, like used you and left you type of thing. They do have a lot of love, but they're like, I can't do right by you right now. I can't love you right right now. There's so many fish in the sea with the Seven of Cups under the deck. There's so many better people than me. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. We've got <clears throat> the Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, someone here is not doing well. They're not sleeping right. They're not doing well. And you're about to find this out. Your person's going through something. I feel like with the Sun, the Lover's Card, and the Magician, uh, and the Ace of Pentacles, you may be worried that there's a third party here. You may be worried that this person's going somewhere else. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's a conversation here of, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. Uh, I need, you know, time. I have to go. I, I'm still trying to, you know, someone here wants to do that that soul searching. It's like, I, I don't know, someone might be going through a dark night of the soul, honestly. You know, tell me about the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. See, you're going to think what they're saying. You're going to think they're lying. 
Page of Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords. You're going to think this person's lying to you, but they really feel that they're making the best decision here by walking away because they are unhappy. Like misery loves company and they don't want to do that to you. Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the Empress. I feel like this is somebody that is saying, you know, I, I, I'm not, you know, you're Empress level material and I'm over here, you know, stressed out. Tell me about this Empress and this Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I, I feel like, I feel like Cancer, there's one person here that's at Empress level. One person here has a job, has a business, is putting in all the work and the other person is just stressed out and overwhelmed. And I feel like with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups, I'm feeling like someone may be, a fight might be breaking out. Like, oh, you want your ex back or, oh, you want your person back. Like, this would especially tie into if you met someone and they were going through a divorce or you know that they were going through an ending and all of a sudden this person pushes away from you and you're like, oh, you're still in love with your ex or you're still in love with this person. But it's really, from what I'm seeing here, Cancer, I don't feel like that's the case. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, and then we've got the Ten of Swords. Very strong Earth energy here, guys. We've got the Two of Wands, and we have the Judgment card. So I feel like, you know, Cancer, the person on this side is the person that's being released, and this is how they feel. They feel like they're being lied to, okay? They feel like they're being lied to. Now, the person on this side, what they're seeing is, you see how we've got the Empress here? The person on this side is sees an Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress energy. And they're like, when you're with me, you're putting in all this work, you're taking on all the, I mean, you're coming in as an Empress, and this person's coming in as a Page of Cups in the reverse, with the nine of swords and the nine of wands, you know, this person's like a hot mess. They want this with you. They want the ten of cups with you. They see your worth. They see that your wife material, husband material. But this person's going through their own drama at the moment. I really feel a strong dark night of the soul. So the way they see it is I'm a page of pentacles here. I bring nothing to the table right? But what they're not seeing is, okay, there may be an age difference between you and this person, but Cancer, what they're not seeing is, you know, Lumen Moon Tarot puts it the absolute best, guys. She says that the Nine of Pentacles is someone who has achieved everything that they could achieve in their single life. They're just missing that one pentacle, which is love. Okay, so Cancer, yes, this person might be younger than you. Yes, they might be a little more mature than you. But the Page of Pentacles is still carrying one pentacle. So this person may in fact have that one pentacle that you need. You may not need money from this person. You may not need all these different things from this person. You just need their love. Do you understand? And they don't see it that way. They, you know, they see it as I've got nothing to offer you. You're so much better than me. And I, not only are you so much better than me, but I am going through such a hard time right now it makes me feel even worse so with the knight of pentacles and the ten of swords i feel like you've been with this person for a while i mean this has been a slow moving you know after being with this person for so long and waiting for things to you know move up to a higher level it ends do you understand this person makes a judgment call to end a situation see we've got the king of swords here this person's thinking logically not emotionally this is the man with the plan and their plan is what they feel the most intelligent thing to do here is is to cut this off because it's not fair tell me about the nine of pentacles and we've got the page of wands in the reverse so i i feel like this is this is what i'm saying like someone feels lied to tell me about the page of pentacles and the seven of swords you see that you know page of wands in the reverse is lies bad news and the seven of swords is more lies and sneakiness it's kind of like this energy with the king of pentacles and the ace of swords i believed you when you said you were committed i believed you when you said that we were okay tell me about the knight of pentacles and the knight of wands 
Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like, I I'm telling you, it's like someone is viewing this person, was viewing this person as the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles type energy, like they thought it was going somewhere. But now they're looking at this person like the Knight of Wands. They're, they're thinking to themselves, you know, I've invested all this time and energy and you ended up being a player all along. With the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords and the Devil, what's happening here is, is this ending, the, the, the person that's being left has it in their head that there's someone else in the picture, that they've been lied to all along, that they've been cheated on all along. Um, you know what I'm saying? They, they have a, a very different perspective of why this is ending. Two of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah, see, someone here can choose to commit to the situation or leave the situation, okay? Or leave the situation. Tell me about the Judgment card and the Queen of Wands. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I understand. Okay, so I, I feel like the person on this side is saying, you know, you had a choice to either be with me or be with someone else, and you're choosing the Queen of Wands. You're choosing the third party. But someone here is not choosing a third party. There is no third party. <laughs> For the first time ever, Cancer, there is no third party. It, But someone believes there is. Someone's like, you could, you could choose me and our future together, but instead, with the Judgment card and the Queen of Wands, you're choosing a third party. What else do we need to know here, please? Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. I feel like I feel like the person that's being left is going to state their case. Like, I don't see why we can't just work through this. Okay, so you're depressed. Why can't we just work through this? Okay, so you're not feeling well. I'm here for you. I can be here for you. But for anyone that's been through a dark night of a soul or a severe depression, it's hard to maintain a relationship when all you want to do is be left alone. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to maintain a relationship when you can't give the best of yourself. And I feel like we're already dealing with a dynamic where one person brings more to, than to, to the table than the other. And that automatically causes, you know, sometimes it causes... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Insecurities as it is. Do you understand? And then when you have someone that's depressed on top of it, you know. So we're going to take this into the extended to see what's going to happen here. But let me pull some, uh, let me pull some Oracle. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got Freedom. Cancer, please. We've got Take Time to Breathe Out. Yeah, this person needs space. This person needs space. We've got joyous fun. And we've got breathe. So uh, again, there's there's a sense of like, I need time to breathe. I need space to breathe. I need to be free. I feel like what's happening is someone thinks like, oh, you just want to go party. But I don't think that's the case. I think that I don't feel like that's the case at all. We've got patience. Yeah, see, patience will be required here. The number 16, 29, or 7 may mean something to you. We've got soulmate, soul connection, and the one. I'm t there is a very strong soul tie between you and this person, but... You know, does this need to come apart for a little bit for it to come back together? Or is this over, you know, is this over for good? We've got invest in your dreams. I feel like, I feel like what's happening here is this person is saying, you've got so much going for you. You opened a business or you're great at your job or you're a parent and you got to take care of that. You know, you want to have kids, you want to have a, whatever it is, go and do what you got to do because I'm stuck in this horrible place right now. And I can't go where you're going. Like, I feel like that's what this person is saying. We've got engagement ring. Uh, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. And then we've got coffee cup. I, I got to be honest. I feel because we've got meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. I feel like you guys, um, I, I feel like for some of you, this person may be saying, listen, you want a family, you want to have kids, you want to go do your thing, you need to go and invest in that because I'm not in a good place right now. Now, I don't know if the person that's being let go is actually going to do that, but let's see here. We've got the fish 
And we've got the mice. Yeah, I feel like someone's worried. I feel like someone's worried because there's one person that's very abundant. There's one person that has the, their whole life ahead of them. And the other person's like, I'm, I'm just, I'm stuck right now. You know, I'm stuck in this bad place. We've got gift and we've got false person. I, I feel like this message that's coming in, the person that's that's walking away feels like they're giving a gift to this person by leaving. Like, trust me, I'm doing you a favor because I'm not what you need in your life right now. But they're going to be seen as a player or a liar. And it's, you know, it's sad. It's The whole situation is sad, but I don't feel like that's the real case here. So let's see what's going to happen here. Will this person heal and will this connection come back together? Or, or will someone actually go and have a baby with someone else, get married to someone else? Because it's showing here like, I, I feel like someone is saying go and uh, go invest in a person that's worth your time and energy. Do you understand? It makes the thought of everything that you bring to the table worries this person because they can't match it. They can't match it, okay? So let's take it into the extended and let's see what we can find out here. Let's dig a little deeper, okay? I love you guys so much. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I will see you guys there. Take care.